All right, so welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna do an apple tart. Very simple stuff, but very delicious. Let's go and get some apples, some fresh apples. It is uh, actually October 1st. So we're gonna snip some of the good ones here. Beautiful apple. This is what I call really organic. Got a few more here. Oh, the beautiful big apple. But it won't fit in this thing so big. There you go. So the apple tart ingredients are very simple. This is all-purpose flour. It's 340 grams. These are unsalted butter. Cold is important. This is 150 grams. This is powdered sugar, 90 grams. And two fresh eggs. And we're going to add a little bit of vanilla. You don't have to if you don't want it, but I like it. I'm going to blend all this in here, combine it. So 340 grams of that. And now we're going to add the butter. Trying to sprinkle it around. Important thing is to be cold butter. You, you dice it and you mix it because you want it. You want some of these chunks into the dough. You just want to absorb it a little bit, but you don't want to crush it. You know, and a little bit of a sugar too. And we're going to cover this and start it. Made a mess here. And that's what we're going to get one egg through it. This is going to kind of, uh, I'm going to throw both of them back. So two eggs are coming down. And, okay, now you see it becomes kind of a dough. And I forget to put the one Blend it enough that it becomes one homogenic paste, you see right here. And now you grab it and kind of fold it a little bit into itself. It came out really nice, this one. Love it. Really nice dough. You just, I'm folding it just a tiny bit to get whatever remaining of the flour. But I can tell you this is going to be awesome. It's came out beautiful. And now we're going to refrigerate for 30 minutes. So I'm going to make a desk and put it right in there. Refrigerate it for half an hour and then in half an hour we'll come back and we'll make this. But meanwhile we're going to do the apple. Mmm, a beautiful apple. Cold water, yeah, to keep it, you know. We don't want it to, because they oxidize. So if you don't put a little bit of lemon into that, then they get dark. I'm gonna melt this butter, and I'm gonna add a little bit of sugar. One, and two tablespoons of sugar. I'm gonna add a little bit of vanilla too to that. If I can open it will work much better. Like a half a teaspoon of vanilla. It's like a mad lab. Well, right now, I'm just, you know, trying to make them dissolve the sugar. You can feel it, it's granulated yet. But you don't want to burn it, so I put it to minimum. But you want it liquid enough that we can pour it over the apples. So we drained it. Half a lime here. All right, so now we're gonna assemble this. This is getting happy here. You see? Hmm, it's pretty good. It's been there for roughly uh, 45 minutes. Let's get my trusty roller. shape. I like the dough to be thick. Not too thick, but this is what I measure with this thing here. Cut about a quarter of an inch. And this is what we're using. Now we're going to roll this bad boy here. And we're going to transfer it to this. Ok, 
Okay, now we're gonna adjust it there. You flip it and you, know, you want it to, to go all the way to the corners there. So, just in case. And now we're gonna arrange these beautiful apples there. Where do you get these apples? From our tree, baby. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just took them out. Put a couple of things, we're gonna fold this one and we're gonna make a new dough that we can. This is the butter, vanilla and sugar that I made. It's gonna brown beautiful. We're gonna place it in the oven at 400 degrees. I will say about an hour, but I will say in 45 minutes, take a look. Maybe another half an hour, let it rest. Well, finally we are at that moment. I'm gonna cut it now, it cooled down and off, I think. And let's see. Let's cut it. Let's just go this way. Let's see. Let's see. Well, it doesn't want to cooperate this thing. Let's see. It tastes like apple pie. That is pretty good. So, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm trying to see how much I can hold my bread. <laughs> well, you can start cooking unless you have something to drink. Hopefully, Johnny Walker will get the hint and send me a few free bottles. So we're gonna prepare a nice glass. And nice glass is always full to the rim with ice. Salute.